Okay, everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is Spice Technologies Worldwide. Uh, we're going to see on the access and control system. And a matter of fact, for you to get on board in this topic, I'd like you to ask yourself one question. Uh, on the previous tutorials, we always start our tutorial with this screen as introduction of everything. Now, today we are going to see how you gain access into this system. So. Let's get started and I'll show you how we do it. As you can see, uh, there is a signing in part where you need to have credentials that will help you to sign in and gain access into the system. As you can see, that's a username and password. You click sign in. And then if the credentials are right, then you're going to sign in. As you can see, voila, we are in a system right now. So. I would like to check a few things as you can see uh, we're going to in the correction sorry uh, we're going to check the logs yes to see if the system has identified what we have done the operation that has taken place in a previous moment a short time ago as you can see admin just signed in at that time at that date right there yes so we are going to see that and uh, yeah, as you can see so let's try to sign in using a different account and uh, actually we're going to see what the database has for us as you can see there are three users there uh, and we're going to choose one of the users and we are going to see uh, how we can just gain access even using a different account because that was an admin account uh, yeah, we're going to use a different account. Let's see if we can take the second account right there. So let's go and see Okay, we are going to enter our username there and we are going to put our password that we click sign in so as you can see Yeah We are in the system right now and uh, in a matter of fact you can see up there the system identifies us by using our username and if we go to the logs we will see the recent operation that we just did uh, uh, this very short time as you can see uh, uni just signed it at that time we used the uh, ID and uh, no matter of fact every kind of operation that is going to be done from now on you will see uh, uni as a ID or a name that will be appearing next to it thank you for listening and we're going to see if we can... so again uh, we're going to log in uh, again we're going to sign in because the system just signed out so we uh, sign in again for us to mingle around let's peruse let's see other features now remember the purpose of this episode uh the purpose of this video is to show you the relationship between uh, the uh, when you gain access in the system and the operation you just operate using your id in a system how they relate directly to the database and the system now remember we have variety of uh, functions as we have uh, watched in the previous videos now we are going to choose one operation let's take uh, add student we're going to use that and see if the system identifies what we do in a system uh, in a matter of fact uh, particularly with our ID so we're going to add this student a new student Anderson Joe I know I know I know I understand yeah it's Anderson Joe just excuse me for a bit uh, let's put him in our city Dar es Salaam yeah see now I'm having difficulties writing even the name of my city this is so 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 uh, whatever but see boiler that's 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 it so he's in the city and uh, okay So we are going to add a student as you can see new student added we'll go back to the system now and uh, we'll go see the collections uh, you know that's the place where our database inserts everything now we're going to see if the system has just added what we just did 
as you can see uni at 1080 january 31st just added new student oh okay so the system knows what we're doing that is that is wonderful that is wonderful that's good that's good so uh guys we're going to sign out we're going to test the preciseness of the uh access system we're going to try to use different formats of writing uh, our username and password see if we can write it wrong and it can give us access as you can see uh, you don't get access if you write your name in a wrong format or either password your wrong password just tells you there's something wrong with it so we are going to test until we write the right uh, username and the right password uh, if you click sign in as you can see uh, it gives you access to uh, to the system if you write the right thing so thank you guys thank you for keep uh, watching this video and well thank you everyone thank you for watching this video till the end uh, I hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment like just get your comment down there and i'll be happy to answer you as soon as possible thank you and see you again in the next video